Okay, so for today, I'm going to show you how to set up your mandala design, which is also going to be a radial design. It's going to follow the radius of the circle. And you can see here, um, I have a cute little design, and I'm going to show you how to do that. In my previous video, I had given you the setup to get the circle inside of your page to get ready to create the mandala design. So I had put a circle inside of a circle. So I'm going to do that now. I'm going to add myself a yellow circle inside, but before I do that, I'm going to change the color here to that blue that I had seen before. Now I'm going to go to my shape tool and I'm going to add my circle. I want to keep my um, my shape the same, so I want to make sure it's a perfect circle and the aspect ratio is good. So to do that, I'm going to hold down the shift key as I create the circle. So I know I'm going to get a perfect circle and not more of an oval. So it's a little off. That's okay. I'm going to kind of move it around a little bit. Maybe I want that center part to be a little bigger, so I'm going to stretch it out. And it looks pretty centered to me. I'm going to turn it yellow. And then I'm going to remove that outline. Maybe you want the outline. I personally would prefer it not to be there. Um, so you can see I'm pretty set up now. The next thing that I want to do is I'm going to set it up so I can split it into pie slices. And this is going to be a lot easier to be able to put things all the way around. So I'm going to grab my line tool and you'll see when I come over, it's actually going to highlight for me with these purple dots where to make my lines. And I'm going to go right through the yellow and the blue. I'm going to delete these in the end, but this is just going to help me to know where all eight of my pie slices are. So there I am, I'm all finished and I'm ready to start kind of figuring out what I wanted to do. So on my little border here, I had these smiley faces. So I'm going to go to shape and I'm going to click on it and I'm going to find my smiley face. Again, I'm going to hit the shift key. Okay, and here's my smiley face. And I had made those smiley faces yellow. So I'm going to go to my fill and change it to yellow. Now I'm going to turn it a little bit because since it's a circle, I'm going to have to kind of set that up each time. Okay. I'm going to add more than one. So I'm going to go to Control D to duplicate. Now I've got exactly the same thing. I'm going to move it. I'm going to twist it a little bit. And maybe I want to add one more. So Control D again. Here it is. Now, once I'm happy with all of them, the next process is to transfer them to each of the other boxes. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with it now. What I can do is I can group them together. So I'm going to do that by clicking on one, holding down the shift key, and I'm going to do that to all three smiley faces. I'm not releasing the shift key until I go over to arrange and group. Okay, so now they're all together. And now I can do control D. And I can just move all three of them over and turn them until they make sense. Okay, and I'm gonna continue doing that to each section. So, control D, and I'm going to continue that all the way around because I want it to be the same in each of my boxes. Now, if I come into a problem, I can always go back and take away whatever I've last done by hitting edit and undo or control Z. Okay, so that's always an option. Sometimes you accidentally grab something you didn't mean to. It can happen pretty easily. 
So, you know, you can just be aware of that. You can also use your arrow keys to kind of move these around. So, Command D. I'm going to take it, I'm going to move it here. Until I get all the way around. Okay, so Control D. And I'm going to keep doing this until I have made my entire circle. Okay, Command D every time until I am all done. Okay, so I made a mistake, undo. Okay. And this is pretty much the process that is going to continue throughout. Now you have some options and I'm going to show you a couple of other things that you can do. Once I get the last of my smiley face set. So I made a mistake, edit undo. Okay, I selected something I didn't want to, which is really easy to do. No big deal. Okay. So and now I'm going to continue by figuring out what I want to do. I can have things float inside of each of my pie slices. I can have something that goes in between the two pie slices as long as you continue them all the way around. Um, you know, like, I don't know, maybe I use this diamond shape. So I'm going to find the diamond. Which is right here. And maybe I want that diamond shape to go between the two. I'm actually going to move it over here. Maybe I want it a little bigger. Again, I can use my shift if I want to make sure I keep it perfect. I can switch up my color. I had made it red. Maybe I want to put something inside. I can do that too. Maybe I add a little circle inside. Okay, now once I've done that, you may want to just group these two things together. Again, shift, and then you click on both. And now I can just do control D, and I can continue moving it around. Okay, here's another thing that you can do, and I'm not going to do all the steps, but I just want to show you some other options. You can make a freeform shape by going into the polyline tool, and you're going to kind of Go around and every time you click, it's going to make you a pointy line and you can keep going until you are happy with it and it's going to turn into a shape. Again, I can change my color. Um, I don't know, maybe I make it hot pink. I can also make it smaller and bigger. That's something I can do too. And if I love this, I could go ahead and reuse it over and over again. That's one way to get like a funky little freeform shape. Uh, you could also use the curve line if you wanted to make something. Again, you would just click and move. And you can actually make a shape with this too if you connect them. So I don't know, maybe I want to have, let's say light green. And I can just hit the um, arrow key if it's ever like not selecting what I want it to and make this shape a little smaller. And again, I could, you know, move this around my page. I really want you to try it out, play around with them, see what you want to do. Uh, maybe you want to add something in here in the middle. You can do that too. Like there's um, these kind of call out shapes that are kind of neat. Like, I don't know, maybe I use something like this. And it doesn't have to be the same, you know, all the way around. If you want to pop something else in the middle, you can. So let's switch this to, um, let's try dark blue, because we haven't used much dark blue. 
Okay. And again, all these other pieces, like the red pieces, I would repeat them all the way around. Maybe you even do like every other with a different set of colors. That could be something that you could do. Let's just say I'm copying this. So I'm going to do control D. Okay, I didn't select both, so I didn't get both. I thought it was still selected from before, so I'm going to hold down my shift key, select both, control D. Here's my second one. Now in this one, I can change my colors if I'd like. So I'm going to go to um, group. Oops. I'm going to ungroup it actually. Okay. Because I hit shift, I didn't actually group it. So now I can just switch up my colors if I wanted. I can make this uh, dark green. And maybe I just make this white to make it stand out. Or maybe I make it black. That's an option too. You know, and then I could do this pattern where every other, so this one would be red, this one would be green, and then red again. Okay, so there's a lot of options. You have plenty of tools to work with and see what you can do to get your own radial design, your mandala like this one. So have fun, enjoy, and try to be as creative as possible.